Hi, my name is Siddy Bennett and I am a singer-songwriter. Basically writing lyrics and putting music to song and coming up with chords and sometimes I write for other people. I'll sit down with someone and we will do what's called a co-write. So I help young musicians who are just starting out in their career. We do one-on-one -on -one sessions and kind of finding their sound. There's no such thing as an average day when you're a singer-songwriter. My job is very varied. Sometimes I will be writing all day, but on other days I might be performing. I've got my own uh, girl band called Message from the Ravens. An average day for us might be we rehearse and then we do a performance and then, yeah, we go on do radios, uh, interviews. I do a lot of work with schools. I work with Egg Tooth doing one-on-one -on -one sessions as well as writing with other bands and touring and radio and then trying to make, it's basically making your own empire. At school, I really loved English literature. Um, because you, I liked that you could read into the words whatever you wanted and there was no um, there was no certain thing of what it was. So I liked the uh, ambiguousness of the words. I, I, I did music when I was at home, but I didn't really take to music lessons that well. But I always was writing my own songs and trying to play guitar um, and playing gigs and joining all the school clubs and doing performing whenever I could. Instead of A-levels, I just did music. And that was when I found out that I really wanted to do it as a career. I then went to university and studied music. And that was where I got spotted. Two people signed me and I got, man I got management. And then we got signed to a record label. And from there, that was where my whole career went off to touring and releasing albums uh, with my band called Wildflowers. And we did some really cool things. We went on tour with Tom Adele and Jake Bug and Robert Plant and like had a really amazing time. Then I moved to Hastings and that's where I got into teaching as well as doing my own solo stuff. I get inspired by lots of different things from music to books to poems to how I'm feeling. I really like psychology, so what's going on um, with myself or other people around me, the reason why people are thinking things. Um, so I study that and then I like, try and write about it. I was given a book for Christmas, I've got it right here. It's called Shakespeare for Every Day of the Year. Each day has a different passage from Shakespeare which kind of relates to it and it's just a small amount, so it's not overwhelming of reading a lot. I read The Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier, which is a kind of Southern Gothic piratey uh, book, romance, um, and I really loved the way that she wrote. So I'm starting at the very beginning of all her books I'm going to read everything she wrote and this is the first one called The Loving Spirit. If you like kind of spooky gothic romance, check her out. So the task I'm going to set you is we are going to look at the lyrics of a song. I've chosen one of the songs that I wrote with my band Wildflowers. It's called Let It Go and we wrote it before Frozen was out, just so you know. And what I'd like to do is analyse it. And by analyse, I mean try and work out what that song is about. Have a listen, play the video over and think, what is this song about? And what we could do to write it down is something called a mind map. So we could, anything that you think of, you could write down whilst you're listening to this song. One of the things I love about songwriting is that it can mean anything to anyone. It's how you interpret those words, so there's no right or wrong answer. If you have a look at the words, there might be a deeper meaning and it might mean something to you that it doesn't mean to anyone else. So if you have a look and while you're analysing, write down everything you can think of. Then what I'd like you to do is try and rewrite the song in your own words. This song's quite a personal one to me because it's about, um, well, letting go. So all of the things that you don't want um, or that bothered me. And it's actually particularly about growing up and being a teenager. So. I, it would be really interesting to hear your reflections uh, and your versions. So good luck. <laughs>